It's time to tell the roof off the mother sucker. Direct to you from Chocolate City, may I present Parliament Funkadelic! Have fun, enjoy what you're doing. Don't try to do nothing like me. You do what you do, just keep doing it. Keep asking questions, keep doing it. You're gonna go to tomorrow because now, we live in the now. You ever think about that? You all, it's always now. Everybody on this planet Earth that's breathing and living is experiencing the same moment. This moment that you and I stand in. Everybody else in the world is in this moment. It's now. That's the vehicle we ride in. listen to country when I grew up Randis bandwagon at night we didn't have like a your black radio station at the time I think we come there were maybe one come on maybe right late at night about an hour or so you hear R&B music but everything else that I listened to was country and uh, you know <laughs> And we used to sing church music, hymns, gospel at home. We harmonized. You know, we just learned, we just did it. You know, no one taught us how to harmonize. I bought a three string guitar from a guy for about $3. And I learned the E chord on it and then just learned how to, taught myself how to play. My family was moving up to New Jersey, and my older sister went along first. Then my youngest sister left me and my dad here in uh, West Virginia, and at the age of 15, my older sister come back for me and took me along with them up to New Jersey. And I met George about 1960, my last 68, my last year in high school. We worked in the barbershop, and he used to do hair at the time processing. So I started hanging out over there after school to start, uh, you know, befriended George. But I used to drive him around, take him. He and I were dating girls in Perth Amboy, New Jersey. I was dating a young lady. He was da dating a young lady. I was singing in another group. I was singing in high school with a group. Then one of the members of parliament left chasing a girl, went to Texas someplace and quit the group. So they chose me out of my group to come and sing with them. Met George. Calvin, Grady, Ray, and uh, the rest is history. The five of us got our first hit record in 1967. I want to testify at Westbound in, in uh, Detroit. Our first trip to Detroit was 1963. We went to audition. We called on the phone, talked to somebody at Motown Records. We got an audition. And we drove from New Jersey to Detroit. We made it to Motown and we ran out of gas right in front of Hitsville, USA. They offered us a seven year, four year contract, a three year option, but we'd have to wait our turn because they had so many acts Smokey Robinson, Stevie Wonder, Martha the Vandellas, the Supreme. They had all these acts. What we had to do is wait our turn, so we didn't want to do that. So we turned them down and went back home. See, it wasn't no Funkadelic, it was just Parliament. When we got our contract back from Motown, from uh, free, freeing up the name Parliament, we named the band, while Motown had our contract, we named the backup band that we had, we said, come up with the name Funkadelic. And we recorded it with Westbound Records. So when we got the name back, we just kept the two together. So it was always called Parliament Funkadelic. Two groups in one. And we got two different record deals with each each group. Everybody got their own thing. 
It's a performance that we did at the Apollo Theater and we bombed out. We only had one uniform and it got wet. George, what are we supposed to do with this? Shit! So everybody, all these other groups were going to the valley, have that valley taken to cleans and go around the corner on 42nd Street, 125th Street and get that stuff clean. We didn't, we couldn't afford it. <laughs> you wear, you wear that, and you know, I'm gonna wear this. And we, that's how it started. Hey, look, wear what you wanna wear. Let's do that. So that's how, that's how Funkadelic come about, the dress part of it kind of, like that. Five guys who had the same goal, that's the key. Everybody got to have the same goal and see the same thing, do the same thing, that, that's where there's no problem. The Funkadelic have a new album on Westbound Records. It's called Free Your Man! To find that the planet had fallen prey to the dread placebo syndrome. Standing on the bed to get it on tonight, y'all. Are you standing on the bed to get it on? Parliament had but one choice to declare war. Just taking music as a whole, to me it means that if you succeed in, in reaching a goal, once you reach a goal with your music, then it, it sort of opens you up. An older sister and three young brothers, we've seen it hard, we've seen it kind of rough. But always with a smile, she was sure to try to hide the fact from us that life was really tough. It grew on us at the same time, and just the, just the coincidence of us coming together, you know, it's, it was just meant to be, the way, way it all happened. It's, it's amazing. She said, for the father, it's for the kid, and in everything I did, please, please don't judge me too strong. And it's just been a journey, like I said, of, of a lot of joy, a lot of fun. We had setbacks, problems, but it was fun. It's what we wanted to do. But you just take one day at a time, having fun. Like a lot of people ask me, what, what do I do? Keep doing what you're doing. Have fun, enjoy what you're doing. Don't try to do nothing like me. You do what you do, just keep doing it. Keep asking questions. You're going to go to tomorrow because now, we live in the now. The vehicle I ride in is my now. It's going to take me to my future. Then the future gonna become the past, but I'm still in the now. It's like a vehicle, you travel from here to California, you're still in the vehicle, but you're going through cities, but you're still in the vehicle. You're in your now, you will always be in your now. It's always now. Now! You got a real type of things going down there now. There's a whole lot of rhythm going round. You got a real type of things going down there now. There's a whole lot of rhythm going round. They had the long johns with the cowboy hat, and of course, uh, George, he was a wild. Nice.
Then, you know, 40 minute trip from Detroit, man, you know how you can lose a bag. But, you know, the bag wasn't lost, it was there all the time. The lady told me today. Jose, I'm never putting any of my clothes in your suit. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> So what am I doing? I'm reaching over and grabbing what? No, you ain't reaching over and grabbing nothing.